Shows end. It's the natural flow. And if you're anything like me, you watch a show, get really attached to the characters in a way that's concerning for some. After eight seasons or more, you're pretty much ready to start it all over again and again and again and again and produce the same amount of tears each time. My research for this began when I was on TikTok scrolling like normal and a TikTok came up where someone was basically asking how many more Wizard of Oz remakes are we gonna get? It got me thinking about just how many there actually are. Then I started to think, wait a minute, there's a lot of remakes of a lot of different things. So then I had to ask myself, why can't we accept when a show comes to an end? Why do we want reboots so bad? Yes, I made a theme song so that I can talk about all my favorite shows. Oh, yeah. And this is just your disclaimer that this is not me talking about any of the actors themselves, but more so their characters. Please do not attack me in the comments. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, even those who disagree with me. But let's keep it friendly. All right, let's get started with the show. I feel pretty safe in the fact of calling this pretty much my season one. I still have a lot of bugs to work out, things to figure out. I don't know how long that's gonna take. I just wanna say thank you everybody for bearing with me through it and just being super kind. Like I've gotten some really nice comments recently and I did not expect that at all. Just wanna say a really huge thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being here, for coming back for another video, for being excited for another video, you know? The more and more time goes on, I'm actually starting to love doing this even more and more which I didn't think was possible it's just really cool like I get to talk about all my favorite shows and everybody actually knows what I'm talking about and like what I'm seriously loving it for those of you new here my name is Kiera and I am a musician primarily um that is my my number one passion right now um making music and things like that but I'm using this channel as a way to connect with people and pretty much get out all of my tv buff weirdness or necessity um i love talking about movies and i love tv um so yeah thank you so much for joining me also a quick 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 update guys i hit a milestone i hit 1000 subscribers which is so cool because i did not think that that would happen already which means now i'm getting i'm gonna get paid for my videos and i'm gonna get paid payday um thank you so much for making it happen all right now let's get into the video to be specific this video is supposed to be more so about the remakes and a little bit about reboots not completely about reboots which brings me to my next point terminology if you already know all this information you are more than welcome to skip through i don't blame you okay that's why i put the chapters there okay <laughs> but for those of you who need it first up we have a remake a remake is basically when they take a movie that started out and remake it with a whole new cast one of the greatest examples in this is like the spider-man multiverse movies next up we have a reboot a reboot kind of gets swarmed up in that same family honestly the whole concept is weird because sometimes people use the word revival for one thing like I know that the uh, you're in the life Netflix show is supposed to be like a revival it can all get very confusing which is why I have included these definitions but now let's get into some examples of the remakes that I'm talking about first we have Batman the first Batman film was made in 1943 since then there have been 20 films 17 TV series says series series I don't know anymore 17 17 and 20 films by the way with batman in it i mean that's that's just that's crazy next there's scooby-doo whether you've seen the live action the animated films or the tv show you know that there have been a lot there's been a lot of scooby-doo content the first scooby-doo tv series came out in 1969 there have been 13 scooby-doo related tv series since there's been 41 animated films and five live action films spider-man first appeared in 1967 there have been 10 animated shows and not to mention all of the spider-man cameos in other shows there has been a japanese spider-man film me personally my favorite spider-mans are the uh the toby mcguire movies and the animated series with drake bell winx club originally winx club was only supposed to last three seasons the winx club first aired in january 2004 and ended in 2009 then it came back and crossed our screens again in june 2011 there was also a netflix series but i'm not going to comment on that because i have zero intentions of watching that they also had a feature film that was filmed in italy which appeared in the u.s on tv in March 2012. Also a little bit of a fun fact here during my research I found out that Ariana Grande actually played in the show at one point playing Princess Diaspora. Elizabeth Gillies voiced Daphne. Kiki Palmer played Aisha. Daniela Monet voiced Mitzi. Sky is played by Matt. I don't know whether to say Shively or Shively but both 
Either way, I try to say it, I feel like a complete idiot. But anyway, he's most notoriously known for his role as Ryan in True Jackson VP. One of my favorite remakes, though, is whenever they redo the whole Harley Quinn thing. Because each time that they've changed the actress, the actress has always brought something super unique to the table. Also, one of the things I'm seeing commonly in the fandom is that, like, people get really irritated, and I share this irritation as well with DC, because DC does change their actors so much. And if you know that that might just be their style like maybe that's just what they prefer to do maybe they feel like keeping the same actor makes it stale i am speaking from a perspective of a person who gets very attached to characters um so it's a no for me but that's fine you know they you know maybe they're not making their stuff for people like me so but speaking of at some point i really do want to try and cover that newest um harley quinn edition the show that came out in 2019 the writing is is super super fresh and it's just like i'm telling you, like this show is so good to me i cannot wait to talk about it so expect that video coming up i don't know when there's an abc news article by michael rothman he says originality is a great mantra that almost nobody believes in you therefore find people taking strong elements of other properties other shows other movies and finding a way to bring them back to life and then i kept thinking reboots are not new remakes are not new but why are we obsessed with them why can't we just let go of the past from a standing point like of a director or a writer making a reboot is like a safety net essentially it's a really good investment the people making the reboot or the remake or the revival or whatever they pretty much already know that we as the audience are going to be in line to see it especially if we are fans of the original show whether the film is actually good or not we don't know but what we do know is that we are going to be in line to watch these reboots revivals and whatever in between because we want to know exactly what they're going to try to do with the legacy that we so firmly believe in and this obviously just goes for like the people who care that much about movies which I am in that box thank you but yeah like we we care so much about the original cast and the original story that was being told because we connected with it so deeply and now we want to see what this new person who's in the game is going to try to do with what we had what we hold so dearly and the same goes for biopics don't think I was going to forget about biopics. There's a lot of security in doing a biopic because again, we don't know if the film is actually going to be good or not. When the audience is showing up in the line and buying their ticket at the movie theater, they are thinking about the original movie the whole time. And they want to know if you're going to try to copy it exactly like that, or if you're going to go off track, or if you're going to disrespect the legacy that it once was to them. If you don't believe me, literally look at any of the biopics that have been made in the last 20 years. Side note, do you guys remember when Lifetime was like, doing all these different biopics it was like the unauthorized uh 90210 story and it was um they did one with marilyn monroe they did a bunch of them and they just kept coming out like just like that and honestly i expect nothing less from this capitalism infested world but one of the things that actually struck me and i don't know how i did not realize this earlier was that the connection between all of this reboot madness is linked to covid i don't know how i did not connect the dots that like it's obviously about covid i just did not connect them and for those of you who have not had the time to think about this in depth like i've been doing while i've been researching for this video let me connect those dots the timeline is covid hits okay we already had a couple reboots that were sprinkling in from time to time and of course some of them were like planned way 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 before okay but the reboot volcano that it is at this point because let's be real it's a it's a volcano okay it's so it's so many reboots at this point i don't even want to say the word reboot anymore like i don't even know what to say instead but i just don't want to say the word reboot anymore because it's like it's so many of them it's like it's like that's the only thing that is playing on television okay let me get on with the point so basically because of the aftermath of covid as everybody knows everybody is pinching their pockets at this point okay we are in deep 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 financial doo-doo and as tone deaf as all of these writers try to act like they are when it comes to politics and social climate in the world their recent work shows differently as it is literally the cause for all of these remakes we have slowly but surely become a generation that is afraid of taking a risk we're so obsessed with perfection we've become afraid of imperfections even though these things are normal failure can be sad but it's normal. COVID is connected with all of this reboot, remake, revival, 
miss because most of these writers and these companies are solely worried about financial risk at this point. Because of the financial risk, they cannot take a chance on some newcomer who probably has a great idea, but they haven't tested it, you know, in little small increments with audiences yet. They have no idea how the audience is going to react to this. Also, I think that this is one of the first times that an audience has been so connected with the industry. I once saw this TikTok where this TikToker was basically taking like one person's name or one person's TikTok account and connecting them back to different people until they like, I think found a famous person or something like that. And I remember watching that video and thinking to myself like, you are one elbow rub away from knowing one of these big corporate guys. With TikTok, being the way that it is, I think it just becomes so much clearer to people just how much we are not divided. A lot of us are the same. This is why I firmly believe that TikTok has been so revolutionary for a lot of people because it is the first time we are all able to just really see each other, whether we want to or not. You're gonna probably see people that live on the other side of the planet because you just are, because you're on TikTok, because they're being recommended to you. And yes, this lets in a lot of stuff that can be very, very triggering on the internet, but I think it's like some of the stuff is like okay well you can see that you're not alone in your mind too like you're not the only one with that kind of mentality there's plenty of people who feel the same way that you do whether it's a good feeling or a bad feeling so yes i do firmly believe that hollywood is out of ideas but again as the title says in this video not in the way that you think they're not physically out of ideas like it's not like no one's coming to them with new ideas but they are missing the big idea which is that creativity will always persevere when you get caught up so much in the financial stuff I think it really hinders the art there are plenty of black creators there are plenty of PLC creators who have these really great ideas but y'all are not willing to give them a chance TikTok has proven that creativity is still well and alive it's just being hidden from us According to history, the reboots will slow down eventually as they have in the past. This is not the first time period where there have been a bunch of reboots. Like I said, um, Scooby-Doo was made in like 1969. And like I said, just think about how many movies have been made since then. That was literally 53 years ago. And the message is not that just because something is old means it can never be good again. The reboots actually would not be that big of an issue if they were good. This is gonna be a rant. So if you don't care about the rant, if you don't like hearing people rant you probably should not be watching this part in fact you really shouldn't be watching my whole channel because like <laughs> i feel like i do rant a bit on here i'm sorry i'm sorry but the way that they did that lion king live action movie like the way they did that like <laughs> It literally makes me mad every single time that I think about it. Every single time that I think about the way they did that Lion King remake, I literally get that. Because why would they do that? Why would, hmm, why would they do, why would they take such a great movie and just crash it? into the dust. I'm trying so hard to hold out hope for this new Little Mermaid movie because I really, really, really want it to be good so bad, but I'm nervous because of the way they messed up The Lion King. What was wrong with The Lion King, you may ask? No problem, I'll tell ya. First of all, the design, like why would they do that? I'm sorry, I'm just so angry about it because why would they do that? Like he, uh, I just, I get so irritated every time I, every time that I even remember how they looked, how they weren't that emotive, like everything about that was just so disappointing. But nonetheless, there's only been a couple of reboots that I actually like. It's literally like, the list is so short. It's been so many reboots that I've been super excited for, went to go see and literally walked out like, why would I go see that? <laughs> I wish the reboots would stop. I just want them to stop at this point. Like, I just want them to stop because they're so bad. And I try to be like, okay, well, bad is subjective. You know, I might've thought it was bad, but somebody else thought it was good. So what does that mean in the long game of things? But just for me, they're not that great. And I'm still trying to hold out hope for this Little Mermaid one because Little Mermaid was so special to me growing up. But it's like, <sighs> I can't have y'all out here ruining my movies. I can't, I can't do it. I don't want to do it.
I won't. My hope is that with the uproar of people coming on the internet and saying, please stop making all these reboots, make something new. Hopefully within the next 10 years, we'll actually have something new. Another side of that though, and I went into this in full in my video where I talked about how I miss old TV and blah, 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 blah. So check out that video where I talk about the, the reason also why we're not getting anything new. I think that this is just a continuation of that conversation because I feel like it needs to be had. I also went into like what Gen Z actually expects from these companies like who are making the movies. So yeah, that video was not bad. It doesn't have that many views on it right now, but it's actually, I mean, in my opinion, like it's not that bad of a video. I mean, I do feel like this one is a little bit better, but like, that's just my personal opinion. Another thing is that we'll never be free of the reboots, the remakes, the revivals until we finally address the other issue, which again, I touched on some of this in my other video, but I just want to touch on it again. We're not going to get anything new until we stop fearing imperfection. That was the whole point we mentioned that earlier. Y'all gotta stop going online and bullying people just because they don't like your favorite celebrity or show or movie or whatever. Like y'all gotta stop that. Y'all also have to stop bullying people for trying something new because it looks weird to you. Even with me not liking how the Lion King thing turned out, I'm pretty sure somebody out there saw that and it changed their life. So ultimately what I think is bad doesn't really matter because it's my opinion. And y'all gotta stop taking each other's opinions as facts every single time. So with that being said, I would like to end End off this subject by just saying that I just want the reboots to end. I don't really know how to. I don't know. I just want. I just want the reboots to stop. <laughs> what did you think of this video? What did you think about the whole reboot thing? Did you already know that it was connected to COVID? I'm pretty sure. I feel like plenty of people did. I feel like this is not going to be like a big bomb to drop. I think plenty of people know that, but I didn't know it, so I was like, okay, well, it'll benefit someone to see this video. I would love to hear what you think below, so don't be shy to comment, but remember, let's keep it friendly. I am really enjoying these videos. I mean, with each video, I'm getting more and more excited. And I've heard you, okay? I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Okay, what am I saying? <laughs> I hear you guys talking about we want longer videos, okay? I'm trying. Here's what I've decided about the longer videos, actually. I am going to try to make longer videos when I feel like they are necessary, but if it's really not and it's just a bunch of me rambling on and on and on and on, I don't want to give you guys that. I'm not saying that I'm not going to ramble. Hold on, let me finish. What I'm saying is I don't want to have like a 30 minute video and 10 minutes of it is information. And then the other 20 minutes is just me like going on and on about whatever. I mean, I don't even know what I could go on and on about. I mean, yes, I do, but okay anyway the point is that i want to make this channel you know like as fun as it can be and i don't want to force myself to make longer videos just because that's what people are asking for i don't want to force anything on this channel i don't want to have like i guess i think energy is so transparent a lot of the time and i definitely pick up on people's energy from a video i don't want to make stuff and then people be on the comments like something is off something is weird here you know i want to try to stay as authentic as possible possible no matter what I do. So I think that's probably the best course of action. When I upgrade my equipment and things like that, like when YouTube really starts booming and I start making a good like income from it and everything, I do want to start doing those watch with me videos. Like just something where like y'all could just watch and you know, we could just get a nice cup of cup of joe or cocoa or whatever and we could just be watching the same episode together you know like just something chill and relaxed of course with the commentary i would like to take this time to thank everybody so much for joining me in another video we are doing this thing we are on a roll i actually don't have a posting schedule yet i'm thinking of one but i don't have one officially yet and it's like do i even want a posting schedule does that not defeat the whole purpose of my spontaneous beautiful personality no i need a posting schedule i definitely need a posting schedule <laughs> All right, guys, so head on down to the comments, be friendly, be nice, and don't forget to share your thoughts about why you think all this reboot madness is happening. And I will see you in the next one.